So this is the pressure check valve on the Rotex 914 series. I had some fluctuations in the oil pressure and uh, on the website of Rotex owner um, there were some suggestions about cleaning the pressure check valve. So that's what I do now. Uh, so what I did, I um, removed the banjo bolt, as they call that. And the manual states that the um, valve housing, this one, should only be removed in case of damage of cleaning. Uh, and that's what I do, I'm cleaning it now. And here's the spring and the bowl. The pressure spring in the bowl and they serve as a check valve and it's screwed in the top of the turbo which is difficult to see somewhere there so I cleaned it with um, some brake cleaner and uh, now I'm going to put it back. And it's very important that the spring goes in first. That's also mentioned in the uh, heavy maintenance manual. Because if you fail to do, then you will block the oil supply to your turbo. And then you will definitely ruin it. And um, they actually say caution. If the ball installed under the pressure spring, the oil circuit is interrupted and the turbocharger will be destroyed. So that is not uh, what we want. The manual says uh, screw the valve housing with sealing ring into the turbocharger housing and tighten it to 25 newton meter. So that's why I have the special wrench for it. And here, uh, I don't know if it's focusing, no it isn't. Twenty-five newton meters in pressure. 